Hello, my name is Spencer, and I am here to do a video tutorial on how I have gotten my X18 from Behringer to talk with OBS properly. Uh, now, this is obviously working correctly uh, because I am recording in OBS right now because I do all my videos as live. I hate editing. Um, but uh, this should also work with any X series mixer from Behringer. Theoretically, they all kind of have the same internals, just different, um, different analog uh, connections on the outside. Uh, now I'm producing this because when I first got my uh, my mixer, it was probably a good two or three months before I got it to work properly with OBS because I had to go through all of these steps and figure out all of these different things. I tried Dante Via at one point. I tried physical cables out of the back of the board plugged into my PC. Don't ever do that. It sounds terrible. Um, and uh, at one point I called uh, Behringer customer service and talked with them and actually had just my own breakthrough while I was on the phone being like, oh, that's a setting I should have just set properly before and now most of it's working. So great, thanks. Um, but let's, let's actually just get into it. Let's pop over here to XR Edit. Uh, welcome to my mixer and how I have it set up. You notice that my microphone is here, my PC here, other inputs here. I, I do my PS4 analog because I like having that kind of control. Um, but none of this is important. What's important is to come first off into our setup here. And this is important uh, into audio and MIDI. Make sure that we're, our USB interface is sending two channels. This is important because OBS, for whatever reason, doesn't work with an audio source that is more than two channels. Um, I, I had it on 18 for a while and thought maybe it would be fine. It would just grab the first two channels on that. No, it just could not see it at all. Now there's a, a hitch here. We set it to two channels on the board. Now we need to go into our sound here in our control panel on Windows itself, go into recording, the line in, the Behringer X18, properties, come over to levels, balance, and make sure that Windows is only seeing two channels. Because I, this was such a pain in my butt. Um, I set it to two channel and it was still not working. And so I went into Windows and Windows was still seeing it as 18 channel. And I tried all the normal steps, turn it off and back on, restart the computer, plug different cords and different places. Nothing was helping. The way I finally got it to switch, got Windows to see only the two channels that the board was sending was I had to do a fresh install of the drivers, which seems like a step you shouldn't have to take, but it is one that I did have to take. So that might be a thing that comes up. Uh, if you're not, if you're seeing more than just these two channels in this screen, reinstall your drivers, I'm afraid. Um, or at least that's what worked for me. Maybe you can find a different solution that works for you. Or maybe it's just working properly. That would be great as well. But yes, you have to be in two channels to get OBS to work. And you have to make sure that Windows is actually seeing only two channels. Otherwise, OBS still doesn't work. So there's some steps there. But once you, ha you are only sending two channels and you've confirmed that Windows is only seeing two channels... Uh, now you have to go and make sure that you're sending the right signal down those two lines because by default you won't be. Uh, the default uh, setting is to send uh, channel 1 to the first line on the USB, channel 2 to the second line on the USB. And you want to change that, you, or you will want to change that. For me, you'll notice that I'm, I'm, I'm using my main mix. I'm sending everything to the main mix, and that's then what I want to send to OBS to record. Um, so if we come into our in and out here, uh, you'll notice this is the routing for the entire board. We're interested in the USB sends tab here. This is what we're sending down the USB line to the uh, to the PC. And you'll see for me, I'm sending my main left and right down. Well, I send them down every channel just for safety and, and because I'm slightly paranoid. But you want to send your left and right down your USB 1 and 2. And again, because we said it's a two channel, these are the only two channels we're worried about. 3 through 18 should not matter. I still set them because... I don't trust it, but they should not matter. Um, the second and also very important thing to realize in here is that these are blue circles, not any of the other colors that you can see if you right click it. Um, by default, again, they're going to be analog. They're going to be this red circle. And if they're set that way, then the signal that the board is sending to the PC is not loud enough for anything. So you want to make sure that you're set to post fader on these. Um, now, this is a whole conversation about signal flow and audio routing, and it could get very long and, and long-winded, but it's I'm not going to. If you want to learn more about signal flow, which you should if you're doing any si kind of sound ever, Google that and, and, and figure it out elsewhere because I'm not qualified to teach it. But for this purposes, just make sure that you're set to post fader on your left and on your right. And of course, you can set these to whatever bus you want. If you're sending off of bus six for some reason or sending your aux in, that would be odd. But you could certainly do that. Um, 
So yeah, make sure those are set to post fader. That's actually the breakthrough I had when I was on the phone with the Behringer rep. Is like, oh, oh, it's 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 pulling the analog tap. I bet if I set that to post fader, it'll actually be loud enough to work, and it was. So yeah, uh, those are the settings that I have found get this to actually cr talk correctly. And if we uh, if we come into OBS, which I'm not gonna actually pull OBS over because that was just a level of recursion I'm not happy for, but I can pull over the properties for the mic send. Just set the device on that to the line in that is the Behringer X18, and it works fine. So I hope this has been helpful to somebody. Uh, hope it will save someone the heartache that I had. Uh, and I'm going to do something I haven't ever done before. I don't normally uh, call for comments or anything on my videos just because I don't like that. Um, but in this case, I am. If, if you have questions, if you have uh, uh, things that you would like help with in this specific vein. I'm not a master of everybody's streaming setup because everyone's setup will be different. But uh, specifically getting the board to talk to the PC, uh, if, if a question hasn't been answered properly in the video, go ahead and leave a comment below and, and uh, I'll see if I can help out or if there are others who have answers that can post them down there, please do. Um, and like the video, share it if you know somebody who, who needs this information. And thank you all for watching. Again, hope this helps. And until next time, have a good one.